Zama Zama, a colloquial term for illegal miners. Zama Zamas from neighboring countries continue to wage war on South African soil, holding mining companies at ransom in their quest for a better life. But it's a life that comes with huge risks. <laughs> His body is one of three which was recovered by Zamazamas following a methane gas explosion at a mine in Falcom last month. 31 illegal miners died in that explosion. So we received the information on the 17th of May 2023 um, that um, the operation that has not been used since the 1980s um, had a methane explosion where unfortunately 31 illegal miners um, had to pass away. There's still very high um, levels of methane gas so we're currently not allowing anybody to go there. Um, it's also very dangerous for us to send um, a, a rescue team. This one at the right I talked to the Minister of Natural Resources Regular. At one time, he suggested that we take illegal miners to go down and rescue people. I had to tell him that, listen, we can't allow criminals to go underground as a government and because they think that they can go there, they are brave enough to go there. We cannot facilitate death. Uh, they are looking for jobs. You see, uh, uh, the country here. We don't have the, we have got the scarcity of jobs here. So that is why the youngsters go there and become the summer summers. It's due to the, 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 our government that they don't, do, they don't have uh, 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 work to do here and they are married. You see, sometimes when you see your child eating the clothes here, uh, not doing what to eat, when you look at it as the father, then we say, okay, I'm going somewhere. We don't even know where to go. But they just go because when they are hungry, you know that you are the head of the family, you have to feed them. So that's why they leave the country to look for uh, greener pastures. That's why they leave the country and go for the other jobs. My, my, my son, my grandson is, is, is not alive because I know. They told me they went there. And at the time, they, for the first time that they went there, they could identify him. But now, uh, it's beyond identification now because they said that they are that the bodies are not good at the moment because this is a thief week now. No, he, he was a very good guy. He was he, he listened to God, was respecting. He has all the he played football and some of the things and he was very good. Very good really. Well, uh, I know that I, I lost my favor there. He was very good. Very, very good really. There's nothing that can be done because they are gone. And and, 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 and and life is a risk. They were risking and they were caught and that's all. So the life on our way is miserable because they have taken two long days inside. And remember, we have been waiting that they will come out and bury them in, in but that never happened. Until today we don't even know when they're going to be out. Of course, yes, we are angry due to the fact that this terrible thing has happened. But we can't blame somebody somehow. It's, it's hard to say that. I would say it, it's, it's illegal for them to have gone underground. But there's a big question mark or a big but. If ever that, um, that mine was closed, it was closed, officially closed, what comes to my mind? How could it, how did it happen that there is still a way of people going underground? If ever the mine was closed, I don't know how they managed, but was it not sealed that place to stop whoever goes there to be able to access down the mine? How did it happen? That's, that's my main question. We have seen yeah, the economy of the Soto going down. And as the economy goes down, it means there is no jobs. There are no jobs. And indeed, Basutu men have been involved in this illegal mining. Uh, and in a, a number of them, they are there in those illegal minings. And as the government of Lesotho, we really don't condone illegal mining because it's an illegal activity. Uh, 
indeed, uh, there are also uh, some some gangs uh, uh, of Basotho. We acknowledge that. And those gangs, they are doing some illegal activities in South Africa. As the government of Lesotho, we don't condone any illegal activity. And we don't support that. And we are going to work really hard, hand in hand, with the government of South Africa to ensure that we stop that. But uh, let, me, let me be frank with you. Uh, the issue of the illegal mining, uh, if you can just think about it, uh, it, it looks like an industry. Uh, it, it, it looks like there are people who are buying uh, uh, this, this gold that has been dug uh, illegally. And I can assure you, the buyers are not stay, are not, are not in the suit. <laughs> and uh, that's why I want to say it is a problem between us as the two governments. It is not just an issue of the illegal miners. It is an industry that has to be dealt with by our two governments. Because it is, it is not dangerous. Uh, it is dangerous uh, for, our, for our people and as the two governments we have got a responsibility to work on that. Wazaba bopelo baka fati bobi ma habo chanele bona baka mona ya pele kamo no kama ene kwa chesa ukebata ma ya wa pere wero kahaji ya pere china kante ga ututa wazama ya ole duho poka poveste kasho zia rally ebe kuhana na usanzano bata chele te kauda. How 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 we in Kevela, Kona Sabe Batla Ogato Ankana go Osanzane O Batla Hauta. Well, how Jagamo or Tota Ugua Papa, how Kala Travela, Hotabo Bata Gantle Kamana, Otabo Gorach, how such an elegant mine Gantle Kamana. It's Oh, le hoa la maene o ma hoa ene le kolo ize tago za ma hoa. Di fiki le zaya mono le sebe mono. Han fela haba kia ta hotu wa fela. Kia ha hoa sa smoko mono. Hot koman tedu man habo shoko. Watu ba hau finyane mono ba fu wina ba ga salo se za hoa hela. Le khwale na ka ona le nthele tshetse mmona ba fihla ba shuta go lo itseme tse thago tsa le khoa ke bone ka batho bana ba phela mmono phela mo sebetsi ba ntho bonda te bana ho latela go ba tshedi e hlile ha ba sa na dinama le mongko wa bona hlile o no sa o hlile ne le mongko o re hlolang empa re ne re khona ho le ka o bane re tlamei et <laughs> In case of a battle, I would generally give my support Abana Babona, Moholena, Eleva, Navi, so if he gave at my support or no, but if he did one, Yazeva or give a fool. As in Tenana, Hyam Charahan Jehovah, Hala give at my civil digger so to guess our tool. Ketelletse <laughs> <laughs>
ho tswa ka ho fapano ha mosebetsi ha ke thotse mosebetsi o hantle ka letsatsi ke na loga ke tse tause We did see the video, um, and it doesn't really prove anything. You know, as I mentioned previously, you know, any mining company has got lots of uh, security that uh, patrols and monitors all sites. And what I wanted to reiterate again is that you know there have been four explosions, you know, prior to this tragic one, and the most recent one that happened prior to the one we're dealing with now happened in 2021, where you know the explosion was ignited by a plug that was switched on underground. And again, this proves that, you know, these explosions or methane related explosions happen underground. Um, how many is, you know, we, we preach responsible stewardship as one of our strategic pillars. And for us to act in such uh, an unethical manner is unheard of, you know. Um, so we think it's very responsible for people to make these sorts of allegations against us.